Alright, good evening everyone. I thought today that I'd actually respond to Michael Buckley or What the Bucks. A uh, new little vlog about grade 12. So, here I go. I'm going to do my little grade 12 thing. I'm going to show you as many pictures as possible. Grade 12 was a really, really good year for me, I thought. It was, you know, obviously the end of everything. And it was fun. Really fun. I met a lot of great people and I did a lot of stuff I normally didn't do. First off, this is what I kind of look like. is me and my brother back in... Great when I was in grade 12 and he was a little younger. So yes, as you can see, I still do the long hair and actually I'm wearing the exact same shirt. But you know, I just looked thinner and cuter back then and had really orange hair. <laughs> so I did, I continued a lot of stuff I did before. I did a lot of reenacting, which basically meant being the super awesome nerd fighter that I am. <laughs> I reenacted the War of 1812 and the American Civil War. It's probably one of the best ones from the year and you can't really see anything. Just a big field and there some red soldiers out there, which would be the British. But anyway, we re-reenacted re the War of 1812 and the American Civil War. It was a really good time, and I loved, loved, loved it. But anyway, throughout the course of the year, I started off and I had a lot of cool classes. I did philosophy, which I'd always wanted to do, and just continued on with everything. And I had, like I said before, I had a lot of really close friends. Everything was good. I was really good friends with a guy named, and still am, a guy named Kirk Safransky. He's um, just an awesome, awesome dude. I had some friends come going long way. I was really close with a guy named Bryce as well. That's kind of gone awry by now, but you know, maybe some point in the future. But anyway, as life rolled on, not to skim over Kirk. Kirk, if you watch this, don't be offended that you're kind of just glazed over. You have so much backstory. It's just anyway, in that year, uh, I met a girl, of course, and uh, she helped shape a lot of that year. So, first of all, this girl tried into my life, and I'm going to show a picture of her. Before I start any of this, though, she actually watches a lot of my videos and stuff, and you've all seen her. I'm not going to say her name or anything, because, uh, I don't know. Anyway, she's going to get all uppity about me showing you stuff. I can guarantee you. She'll be all... Because there's going to be some pictures of us as a couple, and she's going to be like, Why are you showing people pictures of us as a couple? We're not a couple anymore, and, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't know. She's she's cuckoo. Anyway, so I first gazed upon this beauty. She will either hate me or laugh hysterically after seeing this picture. So there she is there. I know, boys. I know. It's fun while it lasted. So then we got together and we did a lot of stuff. And she was really pretty big into the student council and stuff. So she made, she didn't make me go, but she went to a lot of dances and stuff. So I started going to a dance, what I'd never done before. So here's my first attempt at ever going to a dance right here. It's called the Dress As You Dares dance, and you try to dress as strange as possible. There I am there, looking charming and oh so able to pick up, of course. <laughs> so I went to a lot of different dances with, not with her, but for her. I just showed up at places where she was. I'm kind of like Edward Cullen that way, that you know. She'd be at the school dance, and I'd just show up at the school dance. She sat in uh, the upper hallway in school. I started sitting in the upper hallway in school. She went out of town to shop and got attacked by murderer rapists. I just showed up and saved her. She slept. I watched her. Now, some of that isn't true, but some of it is true. You pick and choose which ones. So as we continued in our little relationship, you know, we took certain photos. Here's another photo. I know, it's going to be a lot of photos of her. I didn't mean it to be like that, but it probably will be, because really, that's what happened my grade 12 year was her. Although I can't really say she happened, because she's not more than a person, although she was kind of a manic pixie dream girl, in all honesty. But I realized she's more. She's not more than a person. She's human. But she it was something that kind of happened to me. I mean, it did change my life a little bit. Anyway, here's another picture that she'll get uppity about. That's me and her, obviously. Again, I look, you know, scraggly as hell, and she looks adorable. That was kind of our way. And then, you know, but then all that much happened grade 12 year. It was a really good time, but, you know, nothing earth-shattering or crazy happened. So we just kept on doing my classes, math and everything like that, and got in trouble for the math teacher, and just got into a lot of trouble basically because I'd be around with her way too much, got detention because I was with her and everything like that. Horrible influence. 
Then we graduated and we had this fun little photo. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, that's uh, it's David Bowie in the center there because, you know, that's another story that I won't tell you because she would stab my eyes out if I told you the history behind that. But if you guys watch my video about videos and you heard me mention Labyrinth, you can put it together. But anyway, I just had a pretty good time. And I mean, here's another good group shot from friends that doesn't have her in it, which is sweet. This is a coffee house. It was one of the first ever times that ever played music live. And it was nerve-wracking and I absolutely failed because I didn't practice that all beforehand. Because that's how good I am. Now, you know, the air course eventually wound down with prom. So I'll show you my prom or formal pitch for a minute. But yeah, they wound down to a great time at formal. And then eventually a great summer. And then I went all my life. And we eventually went in separate ways. But that's okay. She's still a really good friend of mine. I don't know how this turned into a vlog about her rather than grade 12. Whoops. But anyway, here's a shot of us at formal. I know. Aren't we adorable? She made that dress. But I think that's everything. I'm sorry this quickly turned into a vlog about a girl rather than a vlog about grade 12. But that's what happened. Later, guys. Have a good one.